Welcome to East Tennessee Pinball, back at this black night. Uh, in a previous video, got the uh, MPU and driver board combo booting up and playing. Don't know if every feature's working yet, but we'll, we'll deal with that later. I really want to get this uh, soundboard making some sounds. Just right now, it's making nothing. Uh, so what I started with, well, it wasn't doing anything. So the first thing I did was, there's two socketed chips here. Uh, Resocketed that one, and this the EEPROM chip, so that's the... The CPU chip and this is the uh, EEPROM chip. Uh, I checked the EEPROM, the file on there, it's good, and resocketed both of those. I haven't done anything with, with the speech side. So this is the sound and this is the speech and they, they talk together through this ribbon cable. So uh, there's several, four test points here. There's a basically plus 12, minus 12 ground and five volts. They're all there. Uh, next thing I did, this, this connector here goes out to the potentiometer in the bottom of the cabin cabinet for volume so if you just jumper those first two pins it eliminates that from the equation and basically just cranks it up to maximum volume that didn't fix it by the way there's a little button here you ought to be able to when i press that it ought to start making sounds and because it's turned up to all the way it should be very loud but it's not uh next thing i did is i got my logic probe hooked up that's what these two jumpers here are Give my five volts for my logic probe. So nine through twenty should be buzzing. Oh, I think I'll turn the game on. How about that? Well, that's strange. I don't have anything. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Maybe I had to run that. There, I just had to start the, when I press that button, I got it running. Uh, so that was, they're all. I won't bore you with every single one, but nine through 20, and then 22 through 33 on this side, they're all buzzing, so there's activity. This, you know, this little probe doesn't tell you if the signals are proper, but it tells you that something's going on. Uh, still not working. So the next step, Diagnosing these things is to basically disconnect the speech board from it, and then it won't work unless you put a little jumper up in here. I gotta take the board off. I gotta actually solder on a little jumper, and uh, I'm gonna put in the uh, Leon's test test ROM in here. It's a it's a ROM that'll work even when things are kind of broken and help diagnose the board. So I'm gonna get this this board here, the sound board, running by itself make sure I can get that working and then we'll try to worry about the, getting the speeches added. So I'm going to pull this thing out and take it over to the bench. So I'm back on the bench. I did three things for this. I put this jumper on the W1. It's a big jumper. I'm not going to forget to pull that one off. Uh, swapped in the Leon's test ROM here and switched both these little buttons to off, the off position. So now this thing is ready to run by itself on the test room so uh i'm, I'm not gonna, i don't have a power supply right here so i'm gonna put it back in the machine and use this in the machine with the logic probe and see where that gets me so i've got the board back in the game uh with the test room in there let me reach down here turn it on you're making some sounds so should similarly get a uh, pin 15. Get this high low signal to what that test ROM is doing. So that's actually good. So that's the first part of the test. Uh, so if I could reach up there and touch that button right there, I'm gonna click it here real quick. It should not do that. It should keep keep a uh, stay lit and uh it's not so i what well, when i press that it's not behaving correctly that's a test for this uh ram chip uh, 6810 so i'm going to take this to the bench and swap out this chip and see if that helps our situation so i'm back on the bench took out the old 6810 put a new one in a socket and uh ready to head back to the game Let's get the game back at the board. Game with the test ROM, the speech board unplugged. 
with the new 6810. Plugged in there, turn it on. Uh, it should start clicking here in a second. Once the game, the soundboard boots up. There it goes. Fine. Pin 15, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. See there? So I'm now have to reach over here with my phone hand, press the button. I pressed it a couple of times, but it, I pressed it and it uh, is still doing the same thing, which is that's what it's supposed to do. So looks like that has. Replacing that 6810, I pressed it again, has fixed at least one of the problems. So uh, I guess now I'll take the test ROM out and see if uh, we can get some real sounds. Well, replacing the uh, 6810 RAM, that, that, that fixed something, but it didn't fix everything. Uh, so I've got the, it still wasn't working. I've got the test ROM back in there and I'm, um, probing the outputs of the PIA, so uh, it's two, uh, let me pull it up here, I'll show you. It's uh, pin two through 16, and this test ROM should make them go high low, high low, high low, high low. So we'll start down here at the bottom with two. Three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So eleven's just blinking high, no low. Twelve, thirteen. So uh, they're all good except for eleven. Unfortunately, if you look at eleven. It comes out, comes down, and in interfaces with both IC5 and IC6. So that signal not being right could be one of three chips. Uh, hard to know which one. Uh, yeah. So what to do? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm 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 gonna suspect it's the PIA. Uh, also, I've got a PIA that's already pulled, so I can put that in without having to pull another one. These other the IC5 and IC6, I've got those on boards, but I'd have to pull them first. So I'm gonna swap uh, swap out this one. Unfortunately, this chip is soldered in the board, which means unsoldering it in a big 40-pin chip and then put it in. Uh, socket so that's that's a little bit of a chore but it's got to get done all right so I put a new socketed PIA in there and uh, that fixed that fixed it so if I two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven I think that's it nine ten it's one of these right there they're all anyway they're all blinking high low high low so that fixed that that uh, output. So now it's time to see if it's uh, see if it's actually working again. So uh, swap out swap out the test ROM one more time. All right, put back in the regular ROM back in there. It's got the, the sound files on there. Boot it up and press the test switch here. Oh, we have sounds. Still have the uh, still have the speech board unplugged. So we don't know about that, but uh, got the soundboard working. So uh, let's just pretend this is working, and we'll call it a day. How about that? <laughs> if y'all like the video, click like. If you want to subscribe, please do. Adios.